Hey everyone, TechnoMentor here with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix invalid SIM card on your iPhone. You want to follow these steps to fix it. So the very first thing is you're going to pull down the control menu or pull it up and briefly put your phone on airplane mode for 10-15 seconds. And then you can turn it off and that should be a quick fix. Now if that didn't fix for you, the next thing you want to check for is a carrier update. So for this, you're going to go into your setting and then go to general and then about. And you're going to wait on this page. If there is a carrier update, it's going to say carrier update available and you can click on update. Now if it doesn't say anything like mine, that means there's no carrier update. We can move on to the next step. The next step is back from the main settings. We're going to go to general again and then this time we're going to go to BPN and device management. Now we need to turn off any BPN setting that we have on because BPN will also prevent that SIM card being red or having issues. So we're going to turn that off as well. Now the next step is if you happen to have a phone with a physical SIM card. This one doesn't have it, but this one has a physical SIM card. Usually it's going to be on either left side or the right side of the bezel. And what you're going to do is take your e a SIM ejector tool or a paper clip or earring piece and basically push it in there to pop the SIM card. Again, if you have it, and then just reinsert it back in and that's going to go ahead and resync the sim card now after you have done that and you're still having issues the next thing you're going to do is go into your setting and then go to a general and then scroll down transfer reset iphone tap on that and they're going to click on reset and we're going to do a network reset so the second option this method will not delete any of your setting it'll just delete the settings but it will not delete any of your data like photos videos apps or anything like that again important step to do to fix issue now if it's still not working the next thing to do is in your settings go to general software update and update your phone software to the latest version now if it's still not working you're going to follow this step here you're going to quickly press and release volume up volume down and then hold on to the side button until the screen goes completely black and the apple logo appears so i'll do volume up volume down and then i hold on to the side button just like that and we're gonna wait until the screen goes completely black and the apple logo reappears before we let go of that side button so we're gonna wait here and then we let go this method is known as a force restart this will not delete any of your data. So all of your photos, videos, apps will still be on your phone. So if it doesn't work the very first time, just keep on trying. All you're doing is quickly pressing and releasing volume up, volume down, and then holding on to that side button. And lastly, if none of this has worked, you need to contact your phone carrier or the phone company that you're getting service from and make sure everything on your account on their end is good. Sometimes they need to set it up on your on their end or they might have to fix something or even push out a update on your phone and resolve any issues that may be outstanding on your account and i hope this video was helpful if so please consider hitting the like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your iphone we'll see you guys next time